I'm Genevieve. I'm a paleoanthropologist and rock art researcher, and I'm back answering more questions because they keep coming in. Thank you so much. This is for the Q&A series with Kmart 101 in partnership with World of Paleoanthropology. All right, so the question I'm gonna to answer today is from Taylor. And Taylor, I'm guessing you must have seen the new Netflix special, Unknown Cave of Bones, because you were asking about whether there might be more undiscovered marks and engravings in the big rising star cave system. And um, I mean, the answer doesn't just apply to Rising Star, this actually applies honestly to many caves all around the world, which is that, yes, I'm, I'm sure there probably are more marks um, because once you start finding some, then often there are other marks in the cave as well. And so, I mean, in the case of Rising Star, definitely now they're moving into a new stage where they've sort of made the preliminary announcement, they've identified some initial marks, but now they're they're going to want to go in the next step would i mean with any cave and rising star will be the same they need to now go in and very systematically start surveying the caves how we would call it to look for other marks and this is something this is work that i've done in the middle east as well this is work i've done in europe at lots of different caves which is that back in the day <laughs> People just didn't, they weren't necessarily looking for every little mark when they went into the caves. They were, especially like a hundred plus years ago, they were looking for like the fancy ponies or like, you know, those big majestic mammoth, right? So they were more looking for the big show pieces when they went in the caves, which means that a lot of little marks kind of slipped through the cracks, frankly. And there's been a lot of caves that I've worked in where we've found a lot more art just by being really systematic in how we look at the walls. And then also there's great new tools now like using 3D scanning and other ways to do like modeling of the walls and to do like laser, like it's incredible what you can do, like literally rebuild the cave using laser marks. Um, so I am guessing that that will probably be part of this next stage now in Rising Star, for instance, when they're, they're going to want to now systematically start surveying that entire cave system to see what they can find. Um, and again, it's a very similar procedure to what you see in other parts of the world where people are studying cave art, which is that, yeah, now, now we don't just look for the big stuff, we're looking for everything. And scanning walls is a great way to do it. Um, there's also really neat technology we can use now that actually comes from satellite algorithms, which is called like decorrelation stretch software, where we can refine paint that is no longer visible with the naked eye. So that's another really cool technique that we have been using in caves now for a few years with great results. So that would also be something that would be really interesting to see being used in Rising Star um, at Cave as well. Hopefully that answers your question. Thank you for asking it. 